Hey, Alaric. What now? How would you describe one of these units that is good at their job? An adept. Adept. <sighs> the adept is the Protoss ranged specialist, focusing on an anti-light role. They can be warped in from the gateway, so long as a cybernetics core is present on the map. Production cost of 100, 25, 70 life, 70 shields, 1 base armor, and they are tagged as light and biological. Their attack cements them in the anti-light roll, dealing 10 damage, or 22 versus light targets every 1.61 seconds at range 4. Now for the good stuff. All adepts start with an ability that can be used right away, Psionic Transfer. After selecting a target location, all selected adepts will project a shade that moves towards that location. This shade cannot attack, nor be attacked, but it can receive movement commands and grant vision. After 7 seconds, the adept will teleport to its shade's current location. However, at any time during that 7 second time frame, the ability can be cancelled at either the adept or the shade, and the adept will not teleport. There is a research available at the Twilight Council for adepts, Resonating Glaives. Costing 100-100, this research increases the attack speed of all adepts by 45%, going from 1.61 to 1.11. You may notice that the color of the attack changes from a blue to orange once completed as well. That's to let your opponent know about the research. As far as usage is concerned, adepts are quite flexible. For the early game. Similar to the Terran Reaper, their value starts to fall off once higher tech forces or a critical mass of low tech forces show up. Nonetheless, you have some choices that you can make. Do you use one or two adepts for scouting or to force army movement with your shades? Do you have three to four, go for worker harassment and economic damage? Or do you research glaives and get 20 plus adepts and try to win the game before the opponent can react? Although I would rarely recommend that last one, it is an option. Remember that you never have to commit to your Shade Teleport. You are free to teleport into a mineral line, kill a couple of drones, Shade towards another base to try and force Zergling movement, cancel your Shades and then simply walk out with your now overconfident and bloodied Adepts. Adepts can be supremely annoying for one major reason. You have to respect them. Calling the bluff and ignoring the shade could net you a serious worker loss. So you have to have enough forces standing by to account for both the adepts and their shades. The bright side of the ordeal is that adepts are only really great versus small numbers of units, especially light units. Generally speaking, if you identify incoming adept pressure, you will want to have access to a few specific tools and be ready to buy time while you get armored units out. Oh, I forgot to mention the best part. Adepts can be countered by buildings. Terran players, I pondered to myself while writing this up. Why don't we see more glaive all-ins versus Terran? And then it hit me. Simply raising your depot wall shuts them down. Obviously, 
you will want to have some army forces nearby to keep them from writing graffiti on the sides of your depots, so let's talk counters. The best answer in a standard match is simply to overwhelm them. Bioforces, with their triple threat and medevac support, should be more than capable once you reach that critical mass. For the earlier stages of the game though, having one or two safety cyclones can be quite helpful, as they're a great catch-all for early defense. They can buy you the time you need to get your bio and siege tank forces out. Protoss, does this scene look familiar? That is because you forgot your shield battery. Keep a probe on a control group, positioned at the wall's gap, and be ready to slap down a battery to shut down those pesky adept shades. Ideally, you go back and cancel that producing shield battery once the shades are gone, but if not, well, we've all been there. We're still going to make fun of you, though. A bit of good news, though, is that stalkers shut down adepts hard in combat. Get blink for them, and then they have some extra mobility to help keep up with the shades movement as well. Zerg players, your building of choice is likely to be the evolution chamber. If you're not in the habit of building a wall, you really should consider it. It is helpful versus Hellions, Adepts, Zerglings, Banelings, and more. For fighting the Adepts directly, you will likely only have enough time to get to Roach Tech before the Adepts show up. The usual play you want to do is have your defensive queens focus their attacks on the adepts, while your more mobile army chases the shades. If for some strange reason you're still seeing adepts in the later stages of the game, know that lurkers are a fantastic tool for defense, and mutalisks can ensure that they never make it home. A unit that is known to be both intriguing and annoying at the same time, Adepts have carved their way to many a victory over the past few years. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this was helpful, and that you have a great day.